10 sec lazy news. dynamic pressure. Max We've heard call out of throttle bucket no, for side core. We're through max Q. We're two minutes into flight. We've begun to decrease thrust on the side boosters to minimize acceleration and loads on the Falcon Heavy structure. We've turned off one engine on each of the side boosters to decrease that load. Now our next major event coming up here in about 10 seconds, shutdown and separation of the side boosters. should be the side booster cameras on two sides and the center core in the middle. Booster shut down. Booster shut down. under full power, everything looking good on the Falcon Heavy. Next event coming up in about 15 seconds will be shutdown of the center core, followed by stage separation and ignition of the second stage engine. Good views of the two side boosters under the thrust of three engines each, slowing down their velocity and coming back towards Cape Canaveral. We have shut down on the center core. Stage separation confirmed. We have successful separation and ignition. We're coming up on shutdown of the two side boosters. And we've heard the call out side booster boost back shutdown. The center core, you can see, is not doing a boost back. It's headed downrange to the drone ship. Here comes fairing separation. We have confirmation of the payload fairing separation. So, so far, four minutes, 17 seconds into flight. Second stage looking good, headed to low Earth orbit, carrying the 24 satellites. The side boosters have done their first boon, coming back to Cape Canaveral. The center core has separated and is beginning its long coast downrange to the drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. So at four minutes, 35 seconds and counting, everything looking good on Falcon Heavy. Side booster entry burn start up. And we have confirmation that the entry burn has begun. And in about 15 seconds from now, we expect that to end. Oh, wow. Crowd here behind me. And that entry burn has completed. Note that second engine cutoff and the center core will be landing almost at the same time. So we're going to have a few events in succession at about T plus 8 minutes and 21 seconds. Double side booster FTS is safe. Stage 2 FTS is safe. Terminal guidance. 20 seconds, we're going to look for that side booster landing burn to begin on both boosters. Side boosters transonic. About 10 seconds away. Side booster landing burn startup. We've heard the call out for side booster landing burn startup, and there you see it on your screen. It coming towards our two landing pads.
Master Landing. What an iconic view. We've also at the same time to believe we've had second engine cutoff at the same time. And we have confirmation that the center core landing burn has begun. Let's see that coming down on Of Course I Still Love You. Got a pretty good view. And as you can see on our screen, it looks like our center core did not make it on our drone ship, of course, I still love you tonight. Again, as we've been mentioning, this was the most challenging landing that we've had to date. And this is, this is our secondary mission. So our primary mission, we just heard the call out for a good orbit of our second stage. It appears we have confirmation that the Oculus satellite was separated and P-Pod number one opened up, deploying the Naval Research Laboratory satellites. There's a view from space, and if you remember the view just before we left, on the bottom left was the Oculus satellite, had a white coloring to it, and it's no longer there. And confirmation, P-Pod number three has opened. Armadillo should be on its way into orbit in the vacuum of space. Seconds away from ignition. Engine at power. We've heard the call out. Engine is at power. This is planned to be about a 22 second burn. Throttling down the MVAC Keep engine. And we heard a report, we have good shutdown. And there you see the release on your screen of MPSAT, MP successful deployment, confirmed. and confirmed over the nets. Amazing. About 10 seconds to go. There it goes. Cosmic 2, Satellite 4, deploy confirmed. Cosmic 2 Satellite 4, the one we intended, is on its way into its own orbit. Cosmic 2 Satellite 3, deploy confirmed. And we've heard the call out from avionics, to confirming what we all just got to see. Cosmic 2-3 successfully deployed. That makes six for six for the Cosmic satellites. Everything continuing to go well on the deployment sequence. Now this is going to be about a 30 second burn. Engine is chilled for the third burn. We're spinning the engine and we have ignition. As I mentioned, this is about a 30 second burn. We're burning at the equator because while the earlier burns were decreasing the inclination, the mission objectives now require that we increase the inclination. We're also changing the orbit from about 700 kilometers up to a apogee of 6,000 kilometers. Throttling down. And we should have shutdown of the second stage engine. Now this burn will last about 35 seconds long. And we're just about two seconds away from that. See that on your right screen, there's a second engine, second stage engine. And there you see second engine startup. Again, this will be about 35 seconds long. And this is the most relights in SpaceX history for a second stage. And there is second engine cut off. That completes our second engine burn for the night. DSX payload deploy confirmed. And there you see it. 
What a beautiful image. 24 of 24. What a night. Jesse, we made it. I can't believe it. Night of historic firsts. John, take us home. <laughs> well, two plus three hours, 34 minutes, 42 seconds since we lifted off from Kennedy Space Center, Complex 39A. It's been a bit of a marathon, but when you finish a marathon, you really feel good. We've had an outstanding mission tonight. We lifted off from 39A, turned at night into day with the Falcon Heavy, over five million pounds of thrust. The center core went downrange and we knew it was going to be the toughest mission ever for a center core. We did get the vis visibility of the drone ship camera, but we just missed the drone ship, of course, I still love you. However, the side boosters made up for that with a great return to landing zones one and two for the uh, side booster, uh, wonderful landing there. Second stage went into orbit. We did four burns of the second stage. All of them were right on target. We did 24, 24 payload separations. And then the icing on the cake tonight was the ability to get one half of the payload fairing as we were targeting into the net above the ocean on our recovery ship known as Ms. Tree. So all together, it's been a great, wonderful evening here at 